At this point we pick up the paper towels, we've got two paper towels in this pack, stand away from the sterile gown pack and dry one hand with one paper towel with the front and back and as you go you're trying to use a fresh part of the paper towel moving down to your elbow. Don't screw the paper towel up in your hand because you're going to contaminate your hand with the bacteria and we discard that into the bin. Pick up the next paper towel, again stand back on the sterile area so you don't drip dirty water all over the sterile gown. Okay. Again dry in front, back of hands, wrist, coming down to your forearm, again with a dry part of the towel and again we discard into the bin. Okay. Let's pick up the gown. Okay. Pick up the gown by the neck part. The idea of this technique of putting your gown and gloves on is called the close cuff technique and the idea is that your skin should not touch the outside of the gown or the outside of the gloves at all. Okay, so hold the gown from the inside and just shuffle your arms in. Be aware of, be spatially aware of the environment so don't touch any shelving or any walls or the scrub sink with your gown and just shuffle your gown on so your hands are still inside the, the gown. Don't let your skin come out onto the gown at all. At this point you're ready to put your gloves on. Okay, so now you've got your gown on. Remember to keep your hands, your arms inside the cuffs, okay? And my fingers are just inside the cuffs just there. Again, this is the close cuff technique of putting your uh, gloves on. This is, this is a recommended practice. The easiest way is to um, turn the glove packet round, open the glove packet, and have the fingers pointing towards it. This is a really easy way. Okay. Gloves come in various sizes, and you'll get to you'll get used to knowing which size that you need to wear. So the right gloves over there now, the right hand. So with your left hand. Keeping your fingers inside the cuff, just press down on the fingers, and with your fore, there's a forefinger there and a thumb there. Just pick up the cuff above the thumb. Take left hand away, pick the glove up, turn it over, and then flip that over. And the idea of picking the cuff up that way is it lines up your fingers and thumb inside the glove. And again, as I'm pulling the glove onto my hand, I'm not letting my fingers come out to contaminate the outside of the glove. It's left glove going onto left hand. Hold the fingers down. And again, pick up the cuff above the thumb with your forefinger and thumb of the left hand. Take your right hand away. Lift up. Pick up. The cuff, the cuff of the glove, and the sleeve of the gown to line. And the idea is that the glove should cover your fingertips with no excess glove, and that you can spread your fingers properly because you need to do assisting operations to be able to retract the surgeon. I usually leave a bit of cuff at the back of my hands because it's a bit of protection in case of get jabbed with instruments. Protects your skin a little bit. Mm. What we I need an assistant now, my circulating nurse is usually here to tie my gown. And the gown is tied. I'm just handling the velcro strap but fasten at the top and the ends of the ties. The circulating person has to be careful not to touch anything of the gown at all. Thank you. How does that bit work, um, sister? That's just threaded through 
Okay, and the idea is that you just hand out the long uh, tie to your circulating person. And you just do a twirl and just pull the tie off and you can tie it. So this is so that you don't become desterilized? So, so I don't uh, desterilize my hands while so doing the tie procedure. Uh, once you scrote, you have to remember to keep your hands in sort of a neutral position here, okay? Never hand, let your hands go below your waist or underneath your arms or around your back. We only treat this area as sterile, okay? And um, same with our trolleys, we only treat the tops of trolleys as sterile. So we have to be very, we are limited in, this, in, in the space where we can go once you're tucked up in your sterile gown. Mm -hmm.